Good job. You won again. Let's call it a day. It's late. Go to bed. You're still not sleepy and want to win a couple more rounds? Who was grumbling about having to work overtime for the past two days again? And wanted to catch up on sleep over the weekend? How about I tell you a bedtime story? If that doesn't make you sleepy, I'll play a couple more rounds with you. Come closer. Once upon a time, on a dark night, a little girl was still awake playing a video game. I'm not making fun of you, it's part of the story. Anyway, it was raining, and a cold wind howled, banging against the windows. Strange creaking noises could be heard. Uh, just a disclaimer, this is not based on a true story. The noise was really strange, as if there was someone outside, shaking the window. A bolt of lightning strikes down from above, and what followed was... Yes, there was thunder. Just like that. Don't be scared. I'm here. Anyway, together with the thunder came a loud bang. The window flew open. <sighs> this is getting weird. Our window has also been blown open. I didn't mean to scare you, really. It's not a ghost story. Let me finish. If you're scared, grab my arm. The room suddenly became cold and footprints appeared on the ground. It's as if someone had jumped in from the window and was moving towards the girl. The girl dropped her controller quickly, and then a strange sound came from the sofa next to her. I'm sorry, that wasn't part of the story. I was just getting numb sitting in the same position. Are you still scared? Do you want to come closer? We're almost at the climax. Just like that, the invisible man took a seat on the sofa. He sat silently by the girl's side, not saying a word. The girl felt something blowing against her ear, moving down her neck. Just like this. Then she heard a voice. It whispered into her ear. Go to bed. You should go to sleep. Whoever stays up past midnight will be eaten.
eaten by me. All right, all right, my bad. I apologize. If you had pushed me any harder, you would have torn my sleeve. I thought you would have fallen asleep by the end of the story, but you seem more awake now. Huh? The bedtime story didn't work, and you want to continue playing games. Unfortunately, I think I made myself tired. I have to sleep now. You should go to bed too. Otherwise, if I get hungry and sleepy... I can't promise I won't become something like the monster in the story. I might actually eat you. <laughs> <laughs>